Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see the process to monitor Jenkins. Whenever we install Jenkins at the production environment or whenever you install your Jenkins at the UAT environment, continuous monitoring of the server is mandated, right? Now, if you want to monitor, we need to learn some tools, right? Now, if you see this screen now, right? These are some of the tools which are available in the market. And these are not limited to these tools. We are having a number of tools in the market. Java Melody is there, Instana is there, ALM Toolbox is there, Grafana is there, Datadog is there, right? Like this, a number of mounting tools are there in the market. Some set of tools are commercial and some set of tools are open source. And when it comes to the, when it comes to the Jenkins, right? Uh, when it comes to Jenkins, we can go with the Java Melody also, right? Java Melody is an open source tool which is available in the market through which we can monitor the CPU performance, CPU utilization of the Jenkins, or if you want to see the performance part, or if you want to see the memory utilization of your Jenkins, either in cluster environment or as a single node, right? In these cases, we can go with Java Melody. But I don't recommend people to go with the Melody for the production environment because we are having some sort of known issues in the case of Melody, right? Now, let us see how to enable Melody in the case of Jenkins and how to use this Melody to monitor the Jenkins part, right? Now, let's start. Let's go back to the browser. Let's go to manage Jenkins. And as you are aware, I already opened my Jenkins dashboard also parallelly. And I just click on manage Jenkins. Go to manage plugins. Now go to available. and just search for Java Melody. It's a bit slow. Yeah, Java Melody. Type the Java Melody and search for the plugin Java Melody. And you can refer the installation part of Jenkins and and configuration related to Jenkins and tool configuration in the case of Jenkins in my previous videos. Let's wait. Right, I can see monitoring here. Let me enable this checkbox. And then let me click on install without restart. Yes. It takes a bit time. I mean, say one minute based on your system performance and based on your internet connectivity. Sometimes it may take one minute, sometimes it may take five minutes also. Let's see. Yeah. My internet speed is very fair, I believe. Yeah, this is okay. It is installing the plugins. Yes. Now let me go, go back to the top page. I had installed Java Melody plugin now. Now let me go back to Jenkins dashboard. Let me go back again to manage Jenkins. And let me scroll to the bottom. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see categorized right you can see monitoring of Jenkins master monitoring of Jenkins agent cells you can see two options here now let me click on monitoring of Jenkins master let me click on the first option see normally whenever you work on Jenkins right we are having a cluster we know how to deal with the cluster also in the case of production environment we are going to have master and slave concept Right, you can monitor master and you can also monitor slave also. Right now, I can I can see my user memory, CPU utilization, I can see HTTP sessions, active threads, hits per minute, and mean time. Right? In this way, we can monitor Jenkins. You can also monitor master and you can also monitor slave also. Right? This is the process. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.